Uh, Charlotte, Charlotte was enjoying that, weren't you, Charlotte? I was. I was bopping away. <laughs> and, yes, I know. You, t- you told me she was enjoying the music this afternoon uh, on BBC Radio Lincolnshire. Uh, Charlotte is uh, from the RSPCA because I was talking about Flo, Flo the Lurcher. The RSPCA in Lincolnshire says it's been inundated with donations and offers of help after Flo was badly injured, um, left to die, really. That's what it looked like. Thousands of pounds has been raised yeah. uh, for the medical help after this appeal was made. And, and uh, Charlotte Charles is from the RSPCA. Tell me about Flo. What happened? OK, so Sunday evening, the out-of-hours mobile went, which I have. And it was a lady who gave me a very vague story about having been on the riverbank off Meadow Lane in North Highcombe. And she saw a dog... Um, sort of making noises, uh, three men running away from it and throwing a bag into the river. When she went to the dog, the dog was quite clearly immobile. She ran home to ring me, went back, and myself and another one of the trustees, Amy Clarkson, went out with um, another volunteer called Chris Farrell to the site. So we were there within about 10 minutes, and it was dusk, so... I looked and saw what I thought was a coat on the floor, and it was, in fact, Flo, who was not moving but conscious and shivering. Um, and it was a question of getting to the bottom of what had happened from there, really. And, and do you know what happened? Because the, the, there have been some reports saying uh, well, she must have been used in, in, hair, in illegal hair coursing in Lincolnshire or something like that. That's something that we can't confirm. We we know there were reports to the police of that the same day. Um, but what we can confirm is that Flo was suffering from a certain type of exhaustion and had also suffered some very heavy impacts to her spine. And what would have caused that? There's really two options um, that the vets have suggested one would be that she had run into some sort of wall at a very high speed the other would be that she had sustained trauma um to those parts of her body so some sort of impact yeah and 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 you don't want to really think about whether somebody would have done that because if somebody did that deliberately i mean that that that's just uh, unthinkable isn't it it certainly is absolutely unthinkable and to look into that dog's eyes She just looked at us as if to say, well, I'm going to have to trust you. I don't know what's happening. Uh, But, you know, she was uh, incredible. She didn't make a noise. She didn't struggle. She just accepted that we were going to wrap her up in a blanket and carry her a quarter of a mile to a car. Uh, You know, it just, they never failed to inspire me, these animals. And you are waiting at the moment because Flo needed some quite... uh major surgery yeah so the whole team we're all have no nails left because she's been in surgery since this morning she has a fracture to her fifth and sixth cervical vertebrae so in effect she has a broken neck um and we have to have four pins inserted to support that those damaged vertebrae she also needs to have Um, some blood clots removed from around that area, which will then reduce the pressure on the spinal cord. Um, However, the prognosis is very good for an operation like this with with a young dog like Flo, who, as the vets have described, is very stoic. And the remarkable thing um, about this as well is because you put pictures of Flo on the Facebook page, the RSPCA Lincolnshire Facebook page, and and you told her story and you said, look, this this is uh, this is Flo, and this is what we found, and this is what's the matter, and uh, we need some help. And I've been looking at the page today. You have been inundated with messages and support and financial support unbelievable i'll tell you we really do feel as a team like we're just dreaming because the support we have had is overwhelming and when you're facing an animal that could possibly have found herself in this situation at the hands of human beings for human beings to then come and support her like this restores your faith in humanity, and it is so overwhelming for us as a team. Lots of messages, but, but the, the donations as well, how much have you raised? 
um, at present we are just coming up to the three and a half thousand pound mark um, and that just keeps getting updated all the time so we've got about another two thousand to go uh, to cover everything that she's had done Dick White's referrals which are the specialists that she's with in Cambridge have done it for a 50% discount for us so we are very fortunate but it is still almost six thousand pounds for this very specialized treatment she's having to have that is amazing i will ask you one thing because because there have been some other comments and you always get this with the rspca mm-hmm. um would the rspca have paid for this had the money not come in undoubtedly we would have done we as a branch are self-funded so we do receive a small amount from headquarters every year the rest is through the dedicated volunteers that we have and the donations from the public that come in at present, we have a new committee instated in September. They have really smartened the branch up no end, but we are left with 19 months' worth of money to continue running. Now that we are finding ourselves in this position with a young dog that, you know, you cannot say to yourself, we can give up on this dog. She's a year old. We need to give her every chance of a happy life. We're going to have to dig into reserves and unless they are topped up at some stage, it will simply reduce the amount of time that we can run for. It's an amazing, amazing amount of support you've had. It's incredible. So over overwhelming. This. For Flo, the bionic dog, as she, yes. as she will be. Incredible little girl. So beautiful. So you're just waiting for that call this afternoon to, to find oh, out how, yes. everything, how everything has gone. Yes, we just want to know that she's come through OK. I'm sure she will have done. She's got so many people rooting for her. Um, but we just need to know now. Charlotte, well, th- thank you for letting us know. Do let us know uh, how Flo is, and uh, we'll, we'll check up on the, the, the Facebook page as well. Anybody can have a look at this. Follow Flo's Progress on the RSPCA Lincolnshire Facebook page, and we'll, we'll put a link to that on our uh, yes, pr- programme page this afternoon as well. It has all the details of how to donate to Flo's Fund. Incredible, incredible support. Charlotte, thank you very much. Charlotte Childs from the RSPCA. It's 20 past four on BBC Radio Lincolnshire.